What's up guys, Mustang Matt here, and today we're back in Forza Horizon 4. We're going to be doing something a little different than driving around today. I have a bunch of wheel spins to open up because I haven't checked my message center in quite a while. So let's head on over there and let's see how many wheel spins I have to open. Alright, message center, open. I've already gotten some gifts, I got a couple cars, I got a, a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which is pretty cool. Um, let's see, these are some old messages, I've already collected that stuff. However, I've been gifted a 2016 Koenigsegg Regera. That's awesome. The Regera is... I have also been gifted 20 super wheel spins and 4 super wheel spins. So, I'm not really sure what you should do first. Let's just go ahead and get the 4 over with and then I'll go ahead and do the 20. I'll save the best for last here. So, coming into it, let's go ahead and skip forward a little bit. Let's see, MG, a chicken suit and a Fiesta GRC. All right, next next up, we have a bunch of lame prizes. All right, if you guys have watched my videos a lot, you know that I'm not a fan of the whole clothing thing. It's very Fortnite-esque and they tried to copy it. Um, I guess it's appealing to some people, but in a sense that you don't really ever see your clothing except for maybe like right now when you're doing super wheel spins to get more clothing um it, it's just pointless it doesn't affect your progress in the game i'd rather have more cars and stuff um but i digress not that the car selection isn't awesome and that they're not adding like insane amazing cars all the time which they are um i digress again so 400,000 credits that's a lot to add to my 19 million almost 20 million um, AMC Gremlin, which we can definitely make something out of, and another Lancia Stratos. I'm pretty sure I have at least one of those already. Alright, moving on back to the message center to the 20 super wheel spins. So another 500,000 credits, which is pretty phenomenal. That's a lot from a wheel spin. Next up, 180,000 and a Ferrari 512 Testarossa. Um, I want to say I have one of those already, but... I can't remember. Yep, I do have one of those. So let's go ahead and take the credits. Um, it's not really one of those cars that I need multiple of because it's not something that I'm upgrading a lot. So like Mustangs and stuff, I have a few of them because I have them set up differently, but that's not really a car that I would do that with. Nothing crazy that time, but let's see what I get this one. So, okay, the Jaguar is pretty cool and 150,000 credits is pretty cool. Ah, uh, yes, because I want to wear leggings in Forza Horizon 4. But the F50 kind of makes up for it. Ah, uh, yes, another Aventador, one of my favorite cars of all time. Moving on, skip, and I would have totally gladly taken the Hummer H1, but instead I only got 40,000 credits, so. Let's just move right along from that one. And again, I would have happily taken the Jeep Wrangler. I could upgrade that a lot, but oh well. You win some, you lose some, right? Let's skip forward a little bit. Some credits. Skip again. And 15, 10, 20. Not a ton. Let's see. Give me one of those yellow credits. or Okay. Um, I already have an M6 Forza Edition, so... Do I auction it or do I sell it? Let's just go ahead and sell it. I'm sure there's a ton of those on the marketplace already. All right, nothing crazy. Again, nothing crazy, just short of getting 300,000 more credits. And Bentley Bentayga, that's kind of cool. Okay, skipping right along. Again, nothing really crazy. Okay, 150,000 credits is decent. Well, really 180,000 because they're combined. So that's decent. Um, when you constantly get 180,000 over and over, it, it adds up very quickly. As you can see in the top right corner of my screen, I have 22 million credits, which I've gone up about 3 million just in the past couple minutes since I've started this. Um, number 24, Mercedes-Benz truck. That's awesome. I, I dig the trucks in here. It's, it's not something you would typically expect from Forza Horizon. 
So when you see like a semi truck, that's pretty crazy. Let's sell that. Ooh, 400,000 more. And a Nova. All right, Aerial Nomad and 71 GTR. I will, well, actually I already have a Nomad. Interesting, didn't know that. All right, and that's it. Um, I got a bunch of new cars. Let's go check out, ooh, all right. Not to really spoil anything hope, here in my car collection, hopefully, but let's go back to Ferrari. I have a ton of Ferraris. Let's see, the FXX is new, the F40 Competizione is new, and the F50 that I just won is new. Let's check this out real quick. All right, added car collector rank. That is kind of like a little um, side effect of doing a bunch of wheel spins where you collect a bunch of cars all at once. You get that car collector rank and you, you rank up there. So, oh, this is one of the most stunning cars ever. And another wheel spin. So more global influence as well. That's yet another side effect. Another wheel spin for ranking up with that. Let's go back and open those up real quick. Let's just see if I get any, if I happen to get anything crazy from these two regular wheel spins. So 10,000 credits, and let's see if this one makes up for it. 10,000 credits, nothing at all. So hopping right back out here to the F50, this thing is wild. The handling though, there's like zero understeer in this car. A little bit of oversteer though. But that's just kind of, comes along with having a lot of power, an engine in the rear, and as I hit a wall, and giving it a little too much gas all at the same time. So that oversteer is controllable. So nothing crazy. This is a really well-balanced car, even stock. I mean, it's it's quick in a straight line. It's, it's no slug. It handles amazing. You don't really have to even, let's see, let's just go back. I don't want to go on the dirt road. Um, it, it's, it's really well balanced, so it's, it keeps traction, which is really important because it really sucks when you're constantly spinning everywhere. Anytime you go around a curve that you had to brake for and you try to re-accelerate and all you do is spin. That's how you lose races. Really quick, really well handling. Oh man, it's just like butter around these curves. So I may not even have to brake for that at all. Decent line, not nothing crazy. Just so smooth. I mean that, that kind of comes along with it being the too hot kind of comes along with being the caliber car that it is. Um, the, the smoothness and just the balance of it all. But it really is. It, it really is noticeable. Alright guys, so that's about it for today. Um, I wanted to go through that and I wanted to get this F50 on the road a little bit because I was really excited about that and I wanted to share it with you guys as well. Um, just share my excitement for it a little bit. But that's about it for today. Um, 24, well, 20, okay, 24 super wheel spins and two regular wheel spins thrown in there. Um, 3 million credits, an Aventador SV, a F50 Ferrari, some pretty good prizes this time around. So give me a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want me to save up some more super wheel spins for you guys and unveil those later on let me know in the comment section down below hit that red subscribe button for more and until next time guys see you later